We built the world's first underwater delivery car. You broke the car, what sir! What was that? You broke it! Our oh, lives depend on this. <laughs> we wanted to create the most memorable food delivery experience of all time. What we didn't know is that this would end up taking three full years to do. This is not going to plan. Oh my god, we're gonna die. We are gonna <laughs> die, bro. This is where it all began. We bought a beat up Volkswagen Beetle because the rounded body already made it look a bit like an aquarium. This is being held together with some kind of tape. It scratches all over these buttons here. Used and like well used. 228,000 kilometers on the clock. Let's start her up. We thought we could do this ourselves, but it was a disaster. Oh my god! Oh! Going! We started stripping everything from the inside. Drive into the other There's car. There's a slap. Right Bow and bang it. You broke the car, what sir. What was that? You broke it. I was given a grinder to cut a hole on the door to make a viewing window. Holy shit, I'm burning the out of my hand. The problem was I had absolutely zero experience in grinding metal and had no idea what I was doing. Look at this. Watch again. A piece of the grinder breaks off and just barely misses my face. The best part is, I had absolutely zero idea that that just happened. Broken grinders are notorious for horrible accidents. Many professionals have stopped using them altogether. This, in addition to several failed attempts at working with other garages, put the project on hold for almost two years. Until... We found Amir. Amir took the car that we gave him and finished stripping everything on the inside. All the electronics, the wires, the CPU, he grabbed all of that and wired everything back up on the outside of the car. He then sealed the cabin with fiberglass so the water wouldn't leak, threw on waterproof seats, new steering wheel, pedals, stick shift and handbrake, speedometer, and lastly, our viewing window. Fill that up with water, add some scuba tanks, and we got our car. Amir had tons of experience and an awesome team at his garage. After dropping off our car, Amir spent one year making it perfect. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love the splashing. Yeah, the seats are now like not cushiony. The center console, they've actually changed the gear selector. And now you have a stick, the steering wheel, and the speedometer. This is awesome. The yeah. speedometer is now like here facing the driver. Look at the back wheel. <laughs> the entire thing is like sinking. Man, I think if you drive this, I don't <laughs> even know if you can drive it. Uh... What makes this car super unique is the front. So just like that and turn it. First light. Have a look at this. A next light. Just so in the middle. And then this one is my favorite. Oh. <laughs> Woo! All right. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. This is freaking crazy. I cannot believe that this is happening. Come on, Nathan. Break, break, break. The Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we're on to something. We're good. We gave the car back for the finishing touches and came back with Alex a few weeks later for our first test drive together. Three years I've been waiting for this. Holy moly! It's a totally different car! The entire car has been lifted. So you got beefier tires, bigger suspension. SB badges are finally on. In here, we finally have pedals. And these babies right here on the back. Yeah. Oxygen tanks. Yes, our oh, lives depend on this. If this doesn't work, we die. Ah, we got two scuba tanks that we're going to install on the back of the car right now. Just me and my hose. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yep. There we go. Alright, fill her up. Oh no, Nathan, get out, Nathan. 
We found the hack. Making this go faster. How many liters is this? 1,500. And this? 20. It's gonna take some time. We're not trying to get it from Vortex. Physics in it. Wow. <laughs> One more. <laughs> it's time to get in. Okay. Oh my god, it's cold. It's Are you serious? You're gonna die. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's gonna get to my feet. Three, two, what? I think there was like a miscommunication because I thought there was going to be like seatbelts or something holding us down, but... I can't Luckily, stand. we had pros on set. There you go. Oh, this is the first time for me breathing out of this thing. Wait, 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 guys. <laughs> so just, you can't just oh shove it back in my well, mouth. I, thought you were, I don't I thought know what lost, I'm doing. I got you lost. We have to drive this on a public road. I can't see yeah. anything. Yeah, I don't know. It's like bubbles coming up in my face. We just gotta do it. We gotta learn. Get out there. The windshield also bent the light so heavily that when we looked forward, all we saw was a wall of blue and a highly distorted Nathan in the sky. Regardless, we were there for the test drive. During your start in the morning, I think so, there is some electric issue. Electricity. Is this something we should be aware of? That there's electricity and no. water mixing? No, there's no electricity inside, it's only outside. Yes! yes. Oh my lord! Overflow of the water, so you went into a computer. Oh crap! Yes. Yeah, that's, that's a problem. This is test number two. Failed. We will come back again. We will be back! While Amir worked on the car, Alex and I did a crash course with a scuba instructor to practice our underwater communication and breathing. Have you ever trained anyone for driving underwater? You mean driving? Driving. Mm. Cool. I like that, yeah. Diving instructor, more like driving instructor, am oh! I right? Yeah. There are times as well that you, there will be water inside your mask. Okay, how do you get rid of it? Press it against your face and exhale through your nose. Let me try it. I think we're ready too. Woo! Fast forward a few days and it was go time. Like this either works or it doesn't work. There's no in between. Hop on in. All right. All right. Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I thought we 
trust her. <laughs> Everything looked ready for the big day. Three years of work for this moment. This is it. We're gonna hop in and drive right now. Yeah, we're gonna be going to the financial district at DIFC. There's gonna be a lot of bankers, a lot of serious people, so we're gonna catch it by surprise. <laughs> and come look at this. It is time for our delivery, and we partnered up with Deliveroo to make this happen. One customer in the DIFC is about to get their sushi order. And we are the assigned delivery driver, so we're gonna take it to them. There's one problem. The car's looking a little dry. That's right. That's what we gotta fill it up. Nathan! Fill her up! I'm ready. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But there are some cars ahead, so yeah, we've got yeah. to avoid them. Okay, we'll jump in together. Three, two, one. Next step was to go collect the sushi. Alex had previously agreed that she'd be the one to go collect the sushi we deliver, but I don't think she realized at the time that that would mean walking around a shopping mall in wet scuba gear. So make sure you hit that like button to support Alex's sacrifice for making this video. It was so bizarre driving a car without being able to see anything. Without Nathan being our eyes, this would have been impossible. This can you stop this? We were in. We had the most random crowd of people following the car. Hi, your delivery is here. All right, ready? Hi. Hello. <laughs> this is your sushi order. To be honest, we just wanted a five star review. <laughs> this is your sushi. What do you think? Is this worth five stars? I mean, yeah, for sure. Yeah? <laughs> I think I can organize it. Yes! <laughs> Woohoo! Thanks, man. Enjoy your sushi. Five stars. Yes! Yes! Man. Yes! We got, we got five it. stars. Woo! <laughs> Three years for that. Three years, just for one delivery. Okay. All right, now we've got a drive back. Oh, we made it. All right. <laughs> After three years, we finally pulled off the world's first underwater delivery car. Mission accomplished.